Good afternoon everyone, I'm meteorologist David Jones with another YouTube Heads Up. Today's video is about the risk of storm surge on the south coast of BC. Storm surge is an abnormal rise of the sea over and above the predicted high tide and caused by a storm. Some of the highest tides of the year occur in December and will peak in the next week. A storm headed towards the coast on Saturday will raise the risk of storm surge. To put the risk in historical context, the tidal gauge at Point Atkinson recorded its highest reading in 1982 at 5.6 meters above datum. That height was reached again in 1997. More recently, in February of 2006, Point Atkinson reached 5.51 meters. This was the storm that flooded Beach Grove in Boundary Bay. The bay is most exposed to southerly winds. When a front approaches the south coast, winds shift to blow from the southeast. As the front gets close, the wind briefly veers to the south. Behind the system, the wind typically shifts to westerly. It's during the brief period of southerly winds that Boundary Bay is most vulnerable. Forecasts of peak water levels from the BC Storm Surge Forecast System are provided by the Institute of Ocean Sciences through a joint program with the BC Ministry of the Environment. The system was developed by Scott Tinnis and is currently run and updated daily. The forecasts are for research purposes only and should be used at your own risk. Here's the seven-day forecast and the corresponding time of high tides for Point Atkinson. The orange numbers from December 14th through 16th indicate peak water levels where low-lying coastal areas may experience flooding. The red numbers on December 18th indicate a high risk of flooding. These forecasts incorporate weather data from the same computer models that Environment Canada uses to forecast the weather. A reality of weather forecasting is that these models sometimes change the path and strength of a storm with each update of the model. That's the case this week, which means at this point there is plenty of uncertainty in the path, timing, and strength of Saturday's storm. The uncertainty is apparent from a quick glance at the run-to-run -run difference in the sea level pressure forecast for Saturday morning. What you've been looking at is the forecast from last night. Here's the forecast from this morning for the same time. This morning's run of the model has the low further north and less intense, which would mean lighter winds. So what we can tell you right now is this. High tide may coincide with the arrival of a storm on the weekend. The timing and strength of that system are uncertain at this point, so possible impacts range from a repeat of 2006 to minimal. To keep you informed, we'll remain in close contact with Scott Tinnis and provide a YouTube update on Friday. Here's a link to the BC Storm Surge Forecast System. That's it for today's Heads Up. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.